Hello again. Hey. Welcome to the Strings Attached Knitting Podcast. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And we're a mother-daughter team. If you've never joined us before, that's our story. That's our story and we're sticking <laughs> to it. <laughs> no change. So today we've got some new FOs mm -hmm. and lots of whips mm -hmm. and acquisitions. Yep. And that's about it. Yep. So let's get started. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> All right. Mom's got a FO to show. Yeah. I Go got my... What's it called? Beginner cable pullover. <laughs> ah, and it's got cables down the arms and then the seed stitch in there. And it's get all little, done. Get a little closer so they can see that seed stitch and stuff. Yeah. So, pretty. so this is by Knitting Pure and Simple. Mm -hmm. I'll put it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says beginner cable, but it's just a cable sweater. I mean, it's just a cable sweater. It's not hard, but it, but it doesn't look like it's like this. It is an easy cable. Yeah, but it's mm -hmm. not like this boring plain thing either. You've got ravelings all over it always. Always. I've sewn so all afternoon. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, and then I'm wearing my newest FO, which is my Bean and Olive Grown Ooh. Up. It's a pattern by Andrea Mowry. Been working on it for a while now, and it's all done. So, anyway, I'm excited about it. I love it. The yarn oh. is um, Knit Picks Dove Heather, and then the pink is an Indie Dyer Yarn Cafe Creations Strawberry Shortcake. So I just love it. It's really pretty. It turned out nice. Yeah. And it's really warm. And mm -hmm. I haven't even blocked it yet. And it's super soft. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be nice. Yeah. I actually, um, I was playing yarn chicken. So my sleeves are like a little bit shorter than I would like. I like them to kind of come up like this. But uh, I ended up with about this much yarn. Like <laughs> a tiny little ball <laughs> left of yarn. And I was scared I was going to run out. So I cut my sleeves a little short. Because I was, I do my sleeves one at a time. And I didn't know if I'd have enough to do the second sleeve. So I kind of cut, like I had three skeins of yarn left and I started on, I started on a skein on the sleeve. So I used like one and a half mm. and I stopped at one and a half skein. And then that way I would have enough to do the other sleeve. Wow. But scary. when I block this, it'll stretch that out and it'll be perfect. I mean, if we're coming to work, you could have ordered another one. I know, but I didn't have to. I know. That's a shame. I hate to have it all is. this. Yeah. It is a shame. So anyway, yep. I love this sweater. It's so cute. It's just so my style. Yeah, it is. It really is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cute. I'm making um, the girls, my twins, I'm making them the kids version. Mm -hmm. The size one, two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make that for them. And I'll talk about my yarn here in a minute for that. But. Mm -hmm. Looks like Rick Rick. I think it looks like Charlie Brown. <laughs> Reminds me of Charlie Brown. <laughs> but anyway, oh, well, I'm really excited. I love it. I wanted to get it done for her, for Andrea Mowry's um, March to May cow. But I missed the deadline by like a couple days. Well, it's fine. I probably went to one anyway, but I did, I did get my other Andrea Mallory sweater entered. So I had one entry. I was going to try to get two, but mm -hmm. I only got the one, the nurtured, but oh well, it's done. My goal for this was the end of May. So I achieved my goal. Yeah. <laughs> we have our goals. Yarn goals, knitting goals. Knitting goals. Got lots Sewing of goals. yarn that I want to knit with. So I have to make goals. <laughs> yeah. So I can you won't get, get it all, all done. the things made yeah. that I want to make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my other FO, I only have one more. And it's kind of a half FO. My first ever sock. I'm That's so proud so of myself. So um, I've never made socks before. And we watch all these knitting podcasts. And all these knitters just go on and on and on about their socks. They yeah, make she tons. always said, I, I'm so, I, I just never know. got well, it. I would want to make a sock. I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> what is the deal with the socks? They're tiny needles, tiny yarn. <laughs> it would take forever to make a sock. <clears throat> like, why would you want to do it? But. I didn't know. So I was like, well, obviously I need to try it because all these people love it. Yeah. So it didn't take forever. This took me a week and it was my first one I've ever made. Mm -hmm. So if you were really good at it, you can whip it out pretty quickly. Yeah. I just, I just assumed it was going to take me forever, but no, no. It's very cute too. I love the stripes. Size one needle and a fingering weight yarn. And it took me a week. It was, and I had a blast. Yeah, I know. Because it's so little. Says, I love doing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so little and I use DPN. So I just would like sit at the table and like. Have my sock. Whereas if you're knitting a big old sweater, you've got this big old sweater you gotta like plop up. <laughs> you know, you can't just plop it out whenever right you're now it's sitting at the table with people. Yeah. yeah. But the sock I could just pack around. I you could stuff yeah. it in your purse if you wanted to and take it mm -hmm. wherever. Cause yeah, there's no I mean I just did a vanilla sock, just stock in that stitch, so there's no like until you get to the heel and toe, there's no pattern really. You just yeah. knit. So you can just take it everywhere with you. Well, so you I thoroughly enjoyed it and I will be making more socks. Well, and you talked about you didn't know what oh, oh yeah. So I, okay, so let me tell what pattern I used. I followed the Crazy Sock Ladies tutorial 
on YouTube for knitting a vanilla sock on DPNs. Although I did not use her cast on method because I couldn't figure out how to cast on onto DPNs. <laughs> I gotta take more practice on that. Uh -huh. I cast it on with two circular needles. I found a video. I'm not gonna explain it because I don't really even remember. But uh -huh. as soon as I got it casted on, I put it on my DPNs, but I just couldn't get it casted on. But yeah, so you know, you hear all these people talk about their socks, like, oh, I used a heel flap and gusset, and I'm like, Heel flap and gusset. I, I guess there's different styles. There's different styles types style. of heels. Yeah. So now I know what they're talking about with the heel flap and gusset. So the heel flap is this ribbed area, if you don't know, which I'm sure probably most of you do. And then this is the heel turn. And then this little like increase line or decrease line, I forget now what we did, um, is where is the um, gusset. So that makes your, your heel and it turns the sock and makes it go that way. And then I got these Knitter's Pride sock blockers. So I could feel like I was like one of those cool sock people that have their sock blockers. And I don't know, I just love it so much. I laugh. So I'm proud of myself with her sock because I said, mine would have to be worsted. So I went on Ravelry. <laughs> That's a slip today. Not a sock. And there are worsted socks. Well, they're I, just very thick. Yeah, I believe you. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, if you wear it out on your foot, you're wearing a slipper. I, I'm, you're not well, going to put I'm that in a gonna, shoe. I might put it in my boots that are big. Well, maybe. You could wear that though. You could wear that sock in like a... Like a clog just type shoe. It, yeah. I wouldn't wear it with like a tennis shoe. Yeah. But like a normal clog, clog shoe, or, yeah, or, you know, or something like that. A little boot that you can show mm -hmm. the top of it. Yeah. yeah. Some booty, those little booties. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So here's the yarn I used. Barocco Comfort Sock. And it doesn't really, it doesn't say what color it is. It just says 1816. So, but anyway. It does its own self-striping, self-patterning thing. It's very fallish. You love fall anyway, so you'll Well, I was thinking sides. it was going to take me so long to make them. I was like, well, I'll get fall color because by, maybe <laughs> maybe by the time fall rolls around, I'll get them done. But then they went so fast. So the whole reason I started this sock, uh, it got motivated me to start the sock, was um, Carla Knits podcast, which is a podcast mom and I really enjoy. She is doing a Mao, a Spring Stripes Mao. Mm -hmm. And it ends June 20th. Yep. So I was like, you know what? Carla loves to make socks. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get some self-striping sock yarn. I'm going to knit a sock for Carla, for her mouth. <laughs> and even if I don't get it done, at least it got me going. But then I think I'm, I'm going to have no problem getting it done. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. about it. It'll be fall before you really wear it anyway. Well, yeah. We've got a big camping thing to do in the fall. Oh, so. well, we're at camping with my yeah. boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah, that'd be cute. Oh, I'll have to knit a sweater to match. Oh, you will. Oh, no. Oh, no. Or maybe a shawl. Oh, well, yeah. That's another thing that I've never understood is all these shawls. I'm like, I don't see people wearing shawls. Not around here. You I'm not a shawl person. Shawls. I don't see a lot of people wearing them. But then all these knitters make these beautiful shawls. I'm I like, see well, some I people. Wear them. Mainly younger kids. I've seen them wear them, you know, around their neck like a big scarf. Mm -hmm, like a blanket scarf. Yeah. Not years ago, I wore shawls. I just thought they were cool. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they're in style. I yeah. didn't know. But yeah. all these knitters are making these beautiful shawls. They're and... really something. <laughs> I'm like, man, all I know, all I make sweaters. I guess I'm not with the times. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to have one though, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. So my, <laughs> well, yeah, but my new thing now is I can't get these shawls out of my head. And last year it was the Miette shawl, my Cozy Up Knits. Mm -hmm. I saw it and I was like, you know, I like that. And I've never felt that way about a shawl. Mm -hmm. And I saw that one. I was like, mm, I like it. Gotta make it. <laughs> and now I can't stop looking at the Stephen West shawls. I can't stop looking at them. They're so extravagant and like big. And it's like, what would you do with that shawl? <laughs> I know. It's not something I would wear. It's big enough. Maybe you can put it on the back of your couch. Jamie oh. calls it a schlanket. A schlanket. Sh shawl blanket. A uh, yeah. <laughs> Jamie from Cozy Adams. That's perfect. That's exactly why I just want to knit like a masterpiece. Yeah. Like even if... I don't wear it that much. I just want to like hold it up and be like, I made that. Like this huge, giant, beautiful work of art. That's what I see it as. It's like not even really a clothing garment, but like a work of art. I like guess the Stephen I West shawls are just cool. I see that in quilts. Yeah. Like what are you going to do with all these quilts you make? I don't know, but I just, you just like to make them. Yeah. Or once in a while you want to make a certain pattern because it's more of a work of art. Yeah. Or with like really bright colors that yeah. You know, wouldn't necessarily go anywhere in your yeah. house. Like but a it's just, closet. It's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's just fun to make because yeah. it's just so pretty. They are pretty. So I probably will be making a Stephen West shawl at some point, but I have no, like, future plans. I have no, right like, now. set Immediate. I always talk about my future knits on our podcast, and then I've maybe done 50% of 
<laughs> the future is we I talk about do what, what we say, say. we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, moving on. That is all of my FOs. What do you got? I have the, I have two sewing. Two sewing FOs. Cool. Yeah. Well, my oh, construction, I should have. Uh, Every time you make a shirt, I wish I was the one that was receiving. I wish that construction wasn't showing from the, I told it, but anyway. Oh, well, sometimes you got to get away with yeah. stuff. I just, I hurried. <laughs> <laughs> so I had cut this out way back in early spring because I did the longer sleeves. Mm -hmm. And actually this silky material is some kind of polyester. It wouldn't be hot. It would be hot now. Oh, it would? Yeah, with the, it, it doesn't, Does it not breathe. Breathe? Oh. doesn't breathe very well. It feels real thin. But I mean, they'll still be cool nights. But I had was in mine, you know, spring and it's got a little split hand there. Yeah, and just, adorable. Just a little, you know. What's the um, pattern? Okay, the pattern is... <laughs> New look, six two two five, and I did a. Was it enjoyable? Pattern. Yeah, it's a really easy pattern, super easy pattern to do. Yeah, and I like to do this kind of a neck binding because you just put it on, sew it down. It's really easy. <laughs> yeah, I can see what you're talking about. With your see, neck I didn't do a really good job. On Sometimes that. It, you know, but when you that. look at the back, it's okay. <laughs> Nobody's gonna see it, so who cares? <laughs> yeah. And I finished this today. She's actually. making this this morning. I didn't even know it was a. I didn't even know it was a wit. Well, I had it That's all. That's pretty. I had it. Nice. I had it all cut out at the same time as I cut that green, and um, I guess I that is really it. pretty. And I just wanted to finish it because I had it cut out and it was in my way. I thought yeah. I have to finish that just because. Yeah. You know, it was bugging me that it's sitting there. Mm-hmm. So Leaning over you. and it's not perfect around the neck either. But anyway, it's. I call it a bag dress. You know. Isn't it so, called a shift? But I did cut it, yeah, shift. But I did cut it out cool. I made sure that those little uh, oh, designs, you like fussy cut it. In. Yeah, I fussy cut it so that the that would be in the front. Fussy cut it. Is that a word? Cut it. Probably not. Fussy, fussy cut. cut. It's just fussy cut. <laughs> and I should have put. I know. I should have. And I I left a little opening, a little placket. I promise <laughs> I can speak. <laughs> but then you're you're learning off of me. I oh gosh. Know. And I was going to put like a little crocheted chain thing and then a button to go over it. But you know what? I could get it over my head without that. So I found that little button. It was one of my mom's old buttons. I'm sure she bought at Walmart. Vintage. 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it matched. Cool. You were making that this morning when you called me. Yeah. This is like one of those that, you know, I always say this and never do it. That's so pretty. It would be nice to have one of those little shrugs, yeah. crocheted shrugs. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have to do but you know, I never do that. So. There we go. Someday. Is this uh, finished? Yeah. We could talk about this. Oh, your letters are falling off still. Yeah, I haven't fixed the letters yet. Okay. Some of my uh, letters are old and I think they've lost their sticky, but I'll either cricket or do something. But anyway. So we, we talked about this is taking up a lot of mom's craft time right now. Yeah. She's stressed, super stressed it's out about craft, it. It's craft, but it's not knitting. That's okay. We, it's all craft. It's our our yeah. channel's all craft. It's all craft. It's just <laughs> not strings. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, yeah. we talked about the last time I thought Cricut. I mean, I can cut anything with a Cricut. This is your first scrapbook that you've ever made where you had a Cricut to even use. That's right. So it's like, it's like a new thing to like wrap your mind around. Like you yeah. can make anything. Right. And I still don't, <laughs> probably don't get it. Mom's like, I need this. I'm like, cut it out on the Cricut. Yeah. <laughs> and today I went, I needed a school bus. And I thought today I went to Joanne's and I found like a, a school bus and then I found some, uh, school paper i can cut out school buses if i want and on the way home i thought print and cut yeah i gotta just print it and cut it yeah. out like we did the instagram and one. i may still do that yeah. anyway <laughs> i think Mal, it was your idea with the ladybug mm -hmm. yeah so he, we always called him keter oh, bug when he was little so, so we cut that out on the cricket that ladybug and there's some pictures of him that's a cute one. and his, the words are sliding around yeah I I ignore the words my hands are gonna cover i have to do the last minute finish all the little problems and the bug oh it's on the other side too the peter bug part yep yeah and so then, um what was i gonna say about that i don't know the ladybug i don't know they'll come back to me but anyway so um i actually did these without mallory's idea <laughs> i actually come up with it no anyway so i did hit the dogs the two dogs in his life samson and samantha mm -hmm. so i put them on there and then i put little Looks like Cut a, out little cricket like he had muddy paws, which Samantha always has stepped, muddy paws. Stepped across, stepped across it. Yeah, Julie's like that dog know. costs me a hundred dollars a day in damages. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Constant that dog is. 
And then I had made him four quilts since I've been making quilts. And um, you got those little I cut these little spools out. Yeah, spools of thread with the needle out and put them on there just for a little design. Oh, so, if yeah. you don't have a Cricut, you should get one. This quilt here, um, Colts and Broncos, Broncos, which was his favorite teams when he was smaller. But that one got destroyed in their fire, so mm -hmm. I'll have a picture of it. So. At least you took a picture. Yeah, I took a picture. <laughs> so there we go. Finished so yeah, matches. that's been taking up a lot of her, her craft time. And I'm still not done, but I've got a lot yeah, done. You've got a lot done, but I got, yeah. two, I got not quite two weeks. Wow. Finishing. She does some legit scrapbooking. Like she puts a lot. It's a effort. photo scrapbook. Yeah, a lot of photos. You put a lot of thought into the the page that you put it on. I try the background colors. Now the cricket, all the cricket stuff you're doing, and oh, yeah. that's what I was gonna say about the ladybug. Is all we do is like, you know, we're like, oh, I need a big ladybug for this page. So I just googled ladybug SVG. Images. Took us, went to Google mm -hmm. Images. Took a screenshot of one that we thought would you know be simple and easy enough to mm -hmm. cut out on the cricket, and I cleaned it up. Um, two collars on the cricket and cut out a black yeah. and cut out a red and yeah she did Instagram last night well I mean it's just a at first I, I not a true Instagram at first <laughs> I did it I did the Instagram thing and I was gonna like have it cut it out on paper but then when I looked at the Instagram logo it's like faded colors yeah so I was like this isn't gonna look like Instagram so I ended up just printing like I took the screenshot of the Instagram logo on Google Images Printed it out on a four by six mm -hmm. picture paper, mm -hmm. and then I actually ended up cutting it out because I didn't want to wait on the Cricut. But could have had, I could have could have stuck it on the Cricut and it would have cut it out for me. But it it wasn't necessary. Yeah. So I mean, it was just a little square. I don't have that whole page done, but it's part of it. But he's she's page. gonna do a a page where it's like cool posts that he's put on Instagram yeah. of like things that he's done. Basketball, well, it's all basketball. Fish and basketball. Well, it's, it's fish. It's all fish. This yeah. One is. I do so, have some, I do have some yeah. basketball. It's going to be an Instagram yeah. themed scrapbook page. Yeah. That'll be cool. Especially yeah. for Insta like his age, you know, yeah. it's all about social media. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So yeah, we just wanted to show what she's been really like hardcore working on. Yeah. Cause it's taken up taking so up much. Time. Yeah, I do. Oh, show your necklace. Oh yeah. A good friend of mine, Joy, got this for me for Christmas. I love quilting. Yeah, and it's got my Perfect. letter F, and it's got my little green stone. Cute. I just realized you had that on. Yeah. All right. Keep mm -hmm. going. You've got more whips. I, I guess whips. we haven't started your I haven't whips. haven't started whips yet. Oh. You ready for whips? I got ahead of myself. I think we're ready. Are you done with FOs? Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready for whips. Do you right. want to go first? Well, I'm still working on this. Haven't got it done yet, but that's <laughs> what I was working on today. And my machine's messing up. Oh, no. So I'm going to have to get out, I have a second machine, get it out and get going on it. And this one's going to have to go in the shop. I thought it needed cleaned out and I cleaned it out while that didn't help any. So mm, it's a bad time for that to happen. Yeah. But I have another machine. Yeah, but you don't like it as well. That's okay. <laughs> it's still so. So this is her mirror, all mirror. This is, all this is just straight seams. Yeah. Mirror, yeah. mirror quilt by Donna Jordan. Mm -hmm. And we showed the pattern last time. It's just like a chevron, mm -hmm. kind of like. Yeah. What's the word for your eyes? It kind of like messes with your eyes a little bit. Delusion? <laughs> no. I don't know. Kind of like magic eye. Like it kind of like, yeah. ooh, I don't know. It's it just does. cool. It is kind of a one So yeah. anyway, free pattern, right? Mirror, mirror. Yeah, it was. Donna Dora. It was one of hers, her designs. So that's going to be for Macy for her wedding, which we mm -hmm. might, might not get. It might not get done for the wedding, but anyway. And I did buy fleece backing for I'm going to try to quilt it. Let's go. Oh, boy. If there you can go. hear a lawnmower in the background, sorry about that. It is what it is. It's there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm uh, Carla. Carla and Nix I am again. Spring Stripes Mal. Spring Stripes Mal, but um, I am not making a sock. I'm trying to find the front page. <laughs> Mom's like, I'm never making a sock. <laughs> I'm doing this simple. Simple hug, hug party. Cozy yeah. up knits. Cozy up knits. And it's, it's a fast one. Yeah. Wow. And it's just two two oh, collars. That's stripes. so pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad you listened to me about the navy and blue? Yeah, the navy and blue is pretty. It's and gonna it's be very so like thin. It's it's worsted weight. It's gonna be like wispy. But it's very thin worsted. It's light worsted. Yeah, that will not be like super super hot. Yeah, and it's size eleven needles, so it's yeah. going really fast. But yeah, it's gonna be real. Like, you just started that less than a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how much I've got done. It it goes real fast. Yeah. Today's Monday. You started that on the th on Thursday. Yeah. 
and you've been doing other stuff. Yeah. This is just nighttime and morning. So that's really pretty. I have time to do that. So that's her leftover navy yeah. yarn. Oh, we forgot to tell what yarn this was. Yeah. This is Cloudborn Cloud Fibers Worsted Twist. Mm -hmm. Merino. Superwash Merino. Yeah. Stormy Skies. That's right. So that is the leftover of that, right? Yeah. And the gray is the same yarn. True gray. Yeah. You think that's what it's called? True Close gray. Enough. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it's the same it's yarn. I did have to order one oh. skein of it. So the blue yarn. She oh, kept yeah. going on and on about it. She's like, I know I had another skein of that. It wasn't hanked. It wasn't, I always laugh about it. Or it's it always, wasn't caked. It's always on the ledge, right? Yeah. So mom, <laughs> like when I was a kid, she lost her a camera, a real camera. She lost it. it and it had amazing. pictures on it. And it was like this devastating thing because it was like, you don't, it's not like a phone now. Where you, oh no. It was like rolls. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I lost all my pictures. I lost my camera. And you're like, I know I sat it on a ledge. It's on a ledge. It and was. That, that was it the thing. Is. It like was on the ledge. Months. It was like, like a swing set. We're like, okay. Like what? You remember what ledge? Like, what color was the ledge? And you're like, I don't know. I just sat it on the it's ledge. On ledge. <laughs> Never found it. It was never found. No. So, anyway, her yarn. She kept talking about how she had this hank of this blue yarn. She's like, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it for that simple hug cardi. Like, I'm going to have to, you know, like, find it because I won't have enough. And I'm like, yeah. eventually, I was like, Mom, just order another one. They still have it. Like, you obviously... I kept looking everywhere. I looked in my stash, and here I've got two or three bands and getting it all out, looking at the. I know I've seen that yarn. I'm like, obviously you used it, and you just don't remember it. She's like, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> so I, I put my phone. I was like laying down on her couch to take a nap, and I put my phone up on the back of the couch, which is a stupid place to put your phone. But anyway, <laughs> of course, it fell behind the couch. So I heard it like fall back there, and. I'm like, oh, so I'm like, mom, I got to pull your couch out. And she's like, okay, you know, like whatever. be careful with the lamp table, whatever. So <laughs> I'm pulling it out and I get back there and I, I find, I see my phone and I see that yarn. She says, you never would believe what I found. <laughs> and it was like two weeks for you looking for that yarn. Yeah, I've been looking for it. And there it was behind the couch. Yeah, I so. told you it was on a ledge. It was <laughs> on the back of the couch. <laughs> So anyway, it has been found and located. Yeah, and, it will and be I used. will be using uh -huh. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had quite a bit in in. I think I had a whole cake and almost a half or more of another cake skein of it already. So I'm sure I'll be using it though. Oh yeah, because you're going to use it for your border collar. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anyway, anyway, it's there. Okay, next next week. Uh, yeah, I showed this a couple of times ago. This is. I ordered it from I think Mary Maxim. Yarn spray. It's from Yarn Spray. It was a kit. It was a kit, and it's this you know blanket. Uh, I'll put the name of it like Burnett, mm -hmm. something or other. And it is um, like stripe or something. Size eleven needles, and real and uh, super bulky. It's a super. It's bulky? that softy chunky Burnett yarn. It's yeah. this. Yep. This stuff. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I have got more done since I showed it a couple of times ago. Oh, that's, and now you can really see what it's yeah. going to look like. And so that's I'm pretty. ready to put on another one of these sections, which is the middle. Yeah. And then there'll be another whole section like this. That's going to be one warm, warm. It's blanket. real heavy. And my goal is wow. with the four Afghans was to do quarters. So I got hers done the first quarter. So I want to have this one done by the end of June so I can start another one. Because you're giving them to me for Christmas. For Christmas. Even though I already got mine. I picked out something else for her to make me for Christmas. Yeah, she did. It's simple. Yeah, man. She's like, you kind of goes with the... You won't have anything homemade to open. Because I already gave you my own. I was like, it's fine, Mom. She's like, no, you have to have something. So I was like, well... If you want to make get this. all my stuff and find something that I would like to have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found something. So she did. we'll show that later. Yeah. Okay. Is that all your whips? That's all my whips, yeah. I keep rocking back and forth. It, well, that dress is kind of still a whip. Oh, yeah. My dress. Mm -hmm. It's almost, oh, it's sorry. almost done. So here, I'll just get out of the way. So we changed the dress pattern. This is, this is the dress to go with my newest Jupiter crop because my newest Jupiter crop has this light pink color in it. So we changed the dress pattern because the other one, this was going to be too hard. So mom found this for what, a dime? Didn't you get this for a dime? I might have got that one for a dime. I don't know. I got that one for on sale, but that wasn't a dime one. Simplicity. It's like five bucks or something. S8910. It was when Joann's had their everything's $5. Oh, okay. So we're doing the, um, you're doing the tank top uh -huh. short version, but not, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. So yeah, there it is. It's almost done. 
it's almost finished except uh, I have to finish him in the bottom. I went ahead and finished it and I put an invisible zipper in it in the back. Oh, nice. Uh, and I did. I asked my sister Gail about washing the linen. She said, it will get real soft. Oh, cool. But it'll also be wrinkly. So we'll have to press it after we wash mm -hmm. it. Because it definitely is going to be pressed. It's itchy right it's, now. Yeah. So, so she's going to. That'll look so pretty with wash. my. With my new sweater. I knew that would look better than the other pattern we picked out. Yeah, that other pattern. It wasn't even my size, and it has little buttons, and yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't the it wasn't made right. I would have had to alter it to, mm -hmm. to get it to work with so, that fabric. But that fabric's yeah, resting. I like that dress. But, okay. Oh well. That's it. Okay. So me for whips. The only whip I have, the actually only whip I have right now is my goose sweater. Oh wow, that's unusual for you. Yeah. So this is goose by Heidi Kermayer. It's a like. I thought my hair was in my mouth, but it's just a shadow. Uh -huh. It's like a turtleneck thing, which it's a not real tight turtleneck. So it's good for me. It's just kind of a loose turtleneck. And then it's a long tunic and it's supposed to come down like all the way, like down past your butt. Oh boy. Well, I added 20 stitches because it's, okay. I yeah. always get so tongue tied when I talk about this sweater because it's weird. <laughs> so <laughs> it's knitted like you cast on here and then you knit the right and the left front separately and the right and the left back separately. And so you cast on here and then you knit sideways this way. And then you do the same thing for the back. Then you join them at the top. Like when you get past the yoke or neck, I mean, join them at the top and then you do the shoulder knit the entire sleeve for the right side. And then you cast on here again and go with the left and do the entire sleeve. And then you, I don't know what you do. Somehow you hook them you together. You weave them together, I think is what you said. And it's got this like seam going down it. Like if you know what the weekender looks like, it's got kind of a similar seam. Similar look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I chose this sweater because it kind of looked like the weekender, but it's not as big and boxy as the weekender. Probably how you put them together, how you weave it will make that little. Nice I don't know if it's three needle bind. I don't know. I never read ahead in patterns. So I got the right side done. I already showed this once, but mm -hmm. so my whole right sleeve already done, right in front and back. And then these have to be grafted together. And it has a pretty long bottom on it, doesn't it? Like a pretty wide mm -hmm. band on the bottom. Oh, yeah, it does. It has a, I don't know, three inch probably. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, three inches. It's as big as this. So the back's longer than the front. And yeah, so I had to cast on 20 extra stitches for my height, because I'm tall, to actually have the tunic to come down yeah. past, my, like, past my butt where I want it to go. So, yeah. Nice Christmas sweater. Yep. So this is um, Cascade. 220 standard aquamarine and mm -hmm. it's discontinued yeah and that's why i got it on sale and that's why i bought it i didn't even know what i was gonna make with it i just wanted it because it's so pretty <laughs> no cheap so now i also on... learned a new cast on with this sweater oh yeah provisional cast on very pink knits tutorial it was you know interesting yeah took I me to try that i tried it once and i got took me a long it. time yeah it took me a long <laughs> it took me like three or four times to get it but yeah. once you got it it's easy so yeah now i'm on the left left this is the left back, actually. I got the left front done. So I've got my left front done. Oh. Still on the needle. But this is, <laughs> I know, but it's... Actually, okay, so this isn't the whole front, but it's just the part before you join at the top of the shoulder. So it's only, like, from here to here. And then you, like, join it with the back. And you cast on some here, I think. And then you join it with the back, and then you continue until you're at where the sleeve would branch off. And then, and then you get the sleeve. Too. Yeah, I forget exactly how it goes. So... Left front piece, left back piece. I'm currently still knitting on, which I'm almost ready to join them. Oh, nice. Yeah. It goes really fast because it's not like yoked down. So you don't have like a thousand stitches on the needle at once. Yep. So it's e you, you can go really quick. I don't know. It's so fun. if she wants to get it done by the end of May, which is her goal, that's next Monday. I don't know if I'm going to make that. That's my only whip right now. Yeah, that's all you're doing. So, so you're right. and I haven't even casted on my other sock. So if I can, can if I can keep myself from casting on, yeah, if you if you cast on that other sock, that's all you'll be doing. I can do it because I knitted a sleeve a day on this sweater. Yeah. So if I put my mind to it, I can do it. If I, as long as that's the only thing I'm working on, mm -hmm. if I don't jump around on stuff. Yeah. Speaking of, I'm about to smother. Go take this off. In between Excuse babies. Me. Well, yeah, but I mean, I have more days off than I used to, and. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting there. So. It's actually 87 degrees here today. Gosh, I'm about to die. And we have sweaters in them. Not me, not now. And this is the hottest room in the house. It is. It always was. It has yeah. three windows. It's upstairs. I only have one air one register. register. Yeah, it's hot. It's a hot room. So, okay, yeah. that is my only whip. And you're done talking about whips. So let's talk about acquisitions. 
Moving right along. Get my acquisitions out. You can get mine while you're getting it. Okay, so my first one I want to talk about, I got three more skeins of this. And this is going to be the body of one of my child's bean and olives sweaters. So I'm going to use the same um, pink, strawberry shortcake pink for the hearts. And then this will be the body. So that will be real kidsy bright. Yeah, that'll be for one of the girls. And then the other sweater, I'm going to do a robin egg blue. Oh, that'd be nice. But it's all this swish DK. And this one is green tea heather. So I use this in my Jupiter crop. Yeah. And I liked it. So, um, and then... Um, Lost what I was going to say. Bean and olive. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that yarn, I um, do this Pampers Club thing for the diapers I use. And you scan oh, yeah. every mm -hmm. uh, pack of diapers you buy. You scan them and then it, you get... a lot of diapers going on there. Yeah, you get a lot <laughs> of points built up. And I've, built, I've earned like $50 or $60. And you get cash back. Yeah. So I bought that yarn. I had $20 cash back. And I ordered three skeins of that yarn. It was like $17 plus shipping. So I really didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. So their cool. their diapers paid earning their points sweater. paid for the yarn for their sweater. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. My other my other acquisition is really exciting. So my mom got me this for my birthday, which was last week. Mm -hmm. And it's Shelter. No. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Tweed, Tweed Arbor. Arbor. <laughs> I always think Shelter's the company. I know it's not. <laughs> Brooklyn Tweed Arbor. Um, what is the colorway? Love it. Love it. And it's a DK weight wool. And I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. But she bought me a pattern. Let me show that. Oh, here it is cake, caked up too. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I think it's a really cool from... green collar. I didn't think she had any sweaters. It's like a muted sea foam. Yeah. So she bought me this pattern, but I don't think I'm going to use this. So I think I'm going to do a different one. But it's really pretty. It's Nolan. I just think it's too preppy for me. It's just not my, I don't wear preppy. Like, I, I will never wear a button or a collar shirt like that. I don't ever. Well, you wouldn't have to wear a shirt under it. I just feel like it won't look right. You know what I mean? I don't know. I need something um, under it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet, but there's another, uh, I want to make something from Brooklyn Tweed. Since it came from that. And I want to make something that's designed for this yarn. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. But there's another one that's very similar to this mm -hmm. and it has a different neck. Yeah. I might make that. So I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. I can't cast anything on because I got I have goals. It's still a good pattern. I might yeah. use it one of these days. I love it. This was my birthday present. We got and like it's real skeins. It's real soft. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like the it's shelter. It's not like the shelter at all. Mm -mm. It's really soft. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was my, one of my birthday presents from mom. And I, that's it for my acquisitions. That's all. What do you got? Oh, I ordered a bunch of fabric and I, I still don't know where I got it from. Fabric Mart. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It might to the company. She's been talking about that. But brand. anyway, it's kind of a coral. <laughs> I'm hard time saying that word correct. Coral. <laughs> coral. Okay. <laughs> With little white dots. Coral. coral. <laughs> anyway, we were at Joanne's and they had a whole box of uh, patterns for a penny. And I got it was that a dime. One. Actually, today it was a penny. Well, those were a dime. Okay. Well, anyway. Well, I don't know. So I, th I thought it might be kind of cute in that little dress right there. Yeah. So show the number. Okay. Yeah. So I haven't cut it out or anything, but I just thought that looked looked like it would be something that would go. With Joyce has the, her bed in the sewing room, like lined with like blobs of fabric. This is fabric the, and this is the pattern that I want to make with this fabric. And sometimes I do some of them, and sometimes they get put in a box. <laughs> yeah. Well, that happens. Okay. Any other acquisitions? Um, I don't think I do. No, no. Okay. I've got some in the mail coming. So I actually, yet. I want to show this real quick. So last time we talked about the Fleece of Harmony yarn, I got mom mm -hmm. for her birthday. So we caked some up. Look how pretty that is. Do this they have sweater patterns? Have blue they designed poppy. a pattern? Uh, not any sweaters. I think okay. they maybe designed some hats or something. So Fleece and Harmony is another podcast. They are awesome. They are a sheep farm. They raise sheep. They shear them. They spin the wool. They dye the wool. The whole thing. There. And this is the Selkirk Worsted on, uh, or Blue Poppy. Really pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you always show warm and fuzzy on the inside, but it's the Fleece and Harmony. That's their logo. But this is warm and fuzzy. Does, does that not mean anything? That's just a cute little thing they put on there. They always put that on there? I, I don't know. Maybe. I've only ordered there once. <laughs> okay. But this it's, is... It's silk? Yeah, this silk is the Selkirk Worsted. worsted. Wow. Okay. So, anyway. It's very... <clears throat> It looks like um, thicker worsted, but 
but I don't know. I don't know because when you pull it, like it's only two like ply. That. I mean, it's only two little strands. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find yeah. out. Yeah, you'll have to do a swatch, like we said. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about our cow because mm -hmm. it's gonna start. Um, let's see. To do. So we are starting a cow, and and it's a um, specific cow. We're doing this sweater right here. We've been talking about it for a while. Autumn leaf pullover, two of wands. It's starting June 1st. It's, it's running. Coming up. Yep, it's running through August 31st. Unless anybody like freaks out and says that's not enough time for me. So just let me know. But I haven't heard anybody say that. You so, can get a sweater done in that length of time. I think so. I, I think it's reasonable. It's going to be fairly easy, I think. And no one's complaining, so. Hmm. So <laughs> we were watching um, Carla's podcast, and she's going to do this with us and she was saying that it has a different construction <laughs> she hadn't even looked and I haven't I hadn't even looked through the pattern I just saw that pattern and I thought oh that'll be a nice raglan like top down sweater because well, why another lady be? on the knitting what's that knitting place that knitting place? posse knitting posse had made it yeah I saw that and then I looked at the pattern and I just looked at the picture I thought oh that'll just be like an easy top down like fun easy knit but anyway Mom looked at the pattern after we watched Carla's podcast because we were like, oh no, like what, what does that mean? Different construction. <laughs> yeah. And so it's actually knit like top down all together until you get under here. Mm -hmm. And then you like split, knit the front, and then you knit the back, and then you like put well, them and together. Even the, and even, no, I think you wait and the sleeves and you, are you knit do flat. the sleeves are flat, and then I think you do the whole seam. Yeah, I just don't understand why in the world. Why in the world? That would be that way. So I'm probably going to hack it and not do it that way. So feel free to hack it if you want to, because I am not going to knit it that way. I just don't understand. I don't know why you would do that. It just makes it harder to, when I mean, you have to sew something together. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. So. Anyway. We may read until a little farther I, in it and see. I until I start making it, I won't really know if I'm going to hack it or not, but I just feel like I will. Because yeah. I do not want to purl. I'm, I'm knitting and purling on the goose, and I'll, I don't want to. Yeah. I want to start a sweater that's not that way. <laughs> Because I don't like burling that I'm well. knitting and purling on the, on the mm -hmm. simple hug. Simple hug. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually getting to where purling doesn't even bother me anymore because I've done it so much with my, I made that Felix cardigan and stuff, but I don't, I'd rather not purl. But anyway, so please join us. It, it will be, I think it will be a really like worth it sweater, no matter how you make it, um, because it just looks so floppy and comfortable and it's knit out of cotton. So mom and I are using this suggested yarn, the Lion Brands cotton jeans. I'm doing the gray, she's doing the like indigo. And this is a DK cotton. I think any DK cotton would be fine. Yeah. If you don't wanna, you know, get this yarn or whatever. I had to order it from lionbrand.com, just FYI. And they have sales and stuff. Yeah. Every little bit on there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but any cotton would be fine. And a cotton sweater, if you don't already have one, is so nice. I have one that I have had since high school and I absolutely love it. It's just the most comfortable soft sweater ever doesn't it it's not hot mm -hmm. so i'm happy to, <coughs> to make another one yeah so yeah anyway we won't have another podcast until after it starts so and i'll be posting on instagram and stuff and then i wanted to um say last time i forgot to put our hashtag uh on the bottom of the screen so i i will do that this time <laughs> so if you want to post about your sweater like while you're making it and stuff or i've started it here's how much i've got done yeah it. on instagram use hashtag strings attached 2021 cal which is k-a-l and if you get your sweater done or whenever you get your sweater done just do that same hashtag and then put fo at the end just don't use that hash don't use the fo unless it's an fo because i'm going to use that page as my pick the winner page yeah so, I mean, that's common sense, but just had to throw that out there. <laughs> I'm just going to use random number generator and pick whatever number that post is. Oh, so also just if you do, when you do the FO, just do the one post. Mm -hmm. Don't post that multiple times because then it won't like, it won't be fair if one person has 10 posts. Has I mean, 10, that's, that's common sense too. Yeah. So anyway, you know, but on the other hashtag, there's the regular one with no FO, you can post as many times as you want. Just yeah, to like watch your progress. Yeah, just to update us on, and then when everybody can cheer each other on. And you can take fun. a picture of where you're knitting. It's some <laughs> we might be someone might be knitting on the beach. Someone yeah. might be knitting on their porch. Yeah, or like take a picture of you with like one sleeve done and the other not done. Just or, don't. If you're knitting in the bathtub, don't take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> if you're knitting in the Random. bathtub, you might have a I'm serious a problem. problem. You are I addicted. <laughs> I used to read in the bathtub. <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> If you're knitting in the bathtub, your yarn's going to dip down in the water. <laughs> well, I just sew, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> anyway, okay. So that's our cow, and I hope you know lots of people join. It'll be fun, and mm -hmm. I think it'll the sweater will be really worth it, even with the different construction. Yep. So, but yeah, feel free to hack because I think I probably will. Because I don't know why you'd want to. I'll pull. have to do whatever she does because I don't know if I know how to hack, hack or not. If you hack. If I hack. Yeah, just do what I do. Maybe I'll do it the other way. I don't have a seam. Ugh. Okay. Well, 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 we'll see. But your preference. Obviously, people prefer that or else they wouldn't write patterns that way. Yeah. I mean, some people must. I it just said don't. something about it made it more structured. I don't know why you'd want it structured because it's a floppy, comfortable... Again, we won't. I won't really know how I feel about it until I actually get to that point. In the yeah, I can't. I, there was I might a, decide. Oh, I should probably listen to the pattern and do what it says. But here, here mm, it's, um, it says and separate it again so that front, back, and sleeves work flat. Sides. They can oh, read it. side and sleeve seams allow for structure and help keep the sweater in shape. Maybe they have to do it that way because it's the cotton and they don't want it to be like too too drippy. baggy and drapey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, like, there's probably a reason. I won't really know until I get that yoke worked. Yeah. And maybe, like, I'll feel it and be like, hmm, this is too floppy. So, I don't know. Stay yeah. tuned on what we decide to do. And let us know what you decide to do. Yeah. Put it on Instagram. Hashtag. Yeah. If you <laughs> guys have knitted a lot of cotton sweaters, you probably know way more than I would. Yeah, because I've only <laughs> ever made one. So, anyway. Yeah. Okay. I think that's everything that we had to talk about. So, thanks for watching. And mm -hmm. subscribe to us if you haven't already. Give us a like. Thumbs up. Give us a comment. That always helps boost our channel. And we like to hear from everybody. And yeah. Stay tuned for next time. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>